Hey, good morning, beloved, and happy Wednesday. And may the Lord bless you today with an overflowing cup of His amazing love. You know, we've been talking about the unity that Jesus prayed for us to have in John chapter 17 in His amazing prayer. And that unity that we may be together with Him in the Father, as the Father is in Him and He is in the Father, that we may be in them. Amazing. And we join Jesus when we pray for that because Jesus knows he, he prays for that because that's who God is. I mean, good grief. Are you kidding me? Or crying out loud, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three that are one. <laughs> that's unity. And of all the world religions, Christianity is the only one that has a triune God that for eternity, past, present, and future is in love. No one loves the Father like the Son and the Spirit. And no one loves the Son like the Father and the Spirit. And Jesus wants us to know Him in that love and joy and fellowship. You know, back in the late 60s, early 70s, during the Jesus movement, those of you who are old as I am can remember those days. And we were teenagers back then, and we had a song that we sang all the time. It says, We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. Remember it? We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. Beloved, let's don't, let's don't just sing that. Let's pray it when we sing it. Let's live it out because Jesus lives in us. God will make it happen for His glory and our joy and strength. God make it happen today through Jesus Christ in whose name we pray, the name which is above every name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and hallelujah.